the way to put the teachings into practice is to, first of all, um, listen carefully and understand the meaning of a particular teaching. Secondly, is to remember it long enough so that you can contemplate, you can think again and again and again using your own um, intelligence, your own reasoning, your own life experiences, whatever you've got from your own side to, to check and to test and to experience on a deeper level the meaning of that teaching. Now let's, let's take a teaching like one of my favorites, like meditating on death. You know, um, I'm sure we'll learn a lot about this this next couple of weeks. Um, so Buddha's teaching on death. You know, He's not trying to teach us about death. <laughs> Everybody knows about death, don't we? We know about death. We've seen death, we've heard about it, we know we're going to die. What is, what is that teaching about, really? Hmm? It's about us developing an attitude that is the opposite to our normal attitude. Our normal attitude is, I'm not going to die today. <laughs> I'm not going to die today. <laughs> what a joke. I'm not going to die today. I can't die in the middle of this teaching. Ridiculous. This is how we're thinking, isn't it? I'm, I can't die today. So this is actually a very deceptive mind. Completely wrong. And we need to cultivate and generate and then hold always the opposite. I may die today. I may die today. Which is because this is true. This is coming from wisdom. This understanding. So when we hear the teaching on death or we, we re study it, read about it, you know, we need to clearly understand that is the meaning. I need to replace my deceptive thought, I'm not going to die right now, you fool, with the correct thought, I may die today. I may die today. So that this meaning, this, or, yeah, this understanding, has great meaning for our life. I know from my own experience, and I'm not boasting, I know that if we can do that, if we can develop such a, an understanding and hold it, our life changes gradually, not you know, big dramatic change, but gradually changes and everything in our life gets better, everything in our life improves. Everything. Everything that's wrong with your life now will gradually get better, better, better through that one single understanding. So when we're listening to teaching, and we listen very carefully, what is the meaning? What is the meaning? Sometimes you have to struggle quite hard with a teacher like me to understand what is the meaning because my way of expressing myself is very complicated. So, so what is the meaning? What is the meaning? So if you, if you don't get it after this class, you can go and ask your friend, what was the meaning? And if all of you don't get it, then I resign. I'm finished. <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs> What's the meaning? This is the most important. Have I got the meaning right? What did it mean, that teaching? Then, once we've got the meaning right, we then need to think about it again and again and again and again. Deepen our appreciation of the meaning. Allow it to pervade through our whole mind. So it takes over our mind. The best way to do that is to then single-pointedly meditate on that meaning, to hold that meaning without any distraction, as long as possible. Meditate again and again and again until that meaning becomes the meaning that we carry with us effortlessly. We don't think about it, it's just there. We've got that meaning, I made out today, in our heart constantly. It's there all the time. So that, that's what it means to practice Dharma. <laughs> Putting the Dharma into practice means like that. It's used, it's used these three types of wisdom, isn't it, for the scholars, you know. Wisdom of listening, Wisdom arisen from listening, wisdom arisen from contemplating, wisdom arisen from meditating. The three, three wisdoms, special wisdom, improving our um, spiritual intelligence, we can say. <laughs>